Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here. Tonight, let's take a look at the Wave 2 of the Funko Disney Afternoon Cartoons. I guess they're calling this line just the Disney DuckTales, but check them out. There's Gizmo Duck right there. So, this was one that I was, you know, hoping they made within this line. So, a definite snag for me. I found him today at GameStop, but look at the packaging on this thing. Like, seriously? This thing is just all smashed to hell. And I even asked her, I said, was this uh, a return or what happened here? And a lady behind the desk said that um, she was the one who actually took them all out of the packaging. And she said the box that they came in were fine, but um, a lot of the figures inside were all smashed up. And, and I mean, I guess the other, they had a couple of other ones, they had launch pad, and who else did they have there? I think they had the entire wave and they were all kind of smashed up. But um, these retail at GameStop for $12.99. But um, when she rung this up, it, only, it, it was only like $9.49 or something like that. So I, there's a little bit of a discount on it. So that's pretty cool. But the packaging is what we're used to. You know, it's small, it's a big bubble. I guess they're calling this just Disney DuckTales, but you got, you know, Gizmo Duck. Uh, clearly displayed Funko. Of course, there's the back of the packaging. All that fun stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and now uh, pop this open and take a closer look at the Gizmo Duck. Okay, and this is what we get out of packaging. So this this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, this is neat. Not as much articulation as, you know, I kind of hoped it would have. And really, the, the paint and detail is a little bit on the lacking side as well but I mean overall it's pretty cool I mean the sculpt is there this entire line has been pretty wonky when it comes to scale that's been a big complaint from a lot of people so I mean absolutely they've been, they've been all over the place with scale so if you're you know one of those collectors that you know really want all of your figures to be in scale this is probably a line you're not gonna like too much because you know you, Chip and Dale are you know, basically almost the same size but uh, Gizmo Duck, he looks cool. He does come with this little kind of clear stand, which just plugs into his back. But at least they have the wheel that moves. So that is cool. That was one thing that I was kind of, uh, not like I'm ever going to be sitting here going, woo, you know, actually I probably will be. But um, I'm glad they at least made a, a wheel that moves, you know. Let's take a closer look at him oh, without losing the focus. He looks cool. He looks awesome. I mean, he looks like he just, you know, pretty much popped out of the cartoon. Uh, I do like his helmet. You know, it looks very nice. The beak looks nice. The paint, for the most part, is clean. I mean, there's really not that much paint, but where there is paint, it's fairly clean, I will say. But the sculpt is all there. You know, the sculpt on his uh, chest is very cool. Uh, he does have his buttons, you know, painted in the screen. It's a little off-center, it looks like, but it's painted blue. Um, we do get some paint on his buttons on the side of the arm there, on his little gauntlets. So that's cool. The back's pretty plain. Not much going on there. Just some sculpted, you know, squares. And of course, we do have his awesome little legs that come down to the wheels. And the wheel, the wheel itself looks cool. There's some nice kind of tread sculpt in there, and you have the white walls. And again, it does spin. So you know, overall, overall, it's a cool figure. I am happy with it. Um, it's, gonna, it, it's, it's definitely replacing my pop, you know, because I went out and got the pop just because it's Gizmo Duck, but this is definitely going to replace that because I'm not really big into the pops. But, um, and to, just taking a closer look at the stand, it's just a kind of clear stand, uh, you know, nothing really fancy. It's kind of funny because it really doesn't, like, if you look at the, where the hole is on his back, and if you were to just stand him straight up, it doesn't really fit. You know, so that's kind of weird. You kind of have to angle them back and kind of squeeze them in there. But it does hold them, so you don't have to worry about them falling off. So that's not bad. Now, as far as art articulation, you do have full rotation of the head. You do get a little bit of up and down, and you do get a little bit of side to side. So that's awesome. The arms, uh, I mean, you know, they go, you know, forward and back, and they hinge out. But because of, you know, just the massiveness of his top piece here, you're not going to get much range. Um, you do get a swivel at the elbow, so that's pretty cool. You don't really get a bend at the elbow, though. So you just kind of get swivel there. And you do get swivel at the hand, even though they're really, really tight. 
or or no, was it? Could have sworn. Oh, I guess it's just. I guess you swivel the hand by swiveling the gauntlet. I thought earlier I swiveled the hand, didn't I? But I guess I didn't. But uh, I mean, so you get a little bit of articulation in there. It's just pretty much just a hinge and swivel. And uh, we do get swivel down here at the waist. And it looks like it should go side to side, but you don't. But you do get swivel there, so you can get, you know, all around. It almost looks like it's a little bit crooked. Like it's, that's why I thought there would be side to side motion. Which would have made it much cooler if they would have put it on a, you know, a, a double ball peg so it could lean side to side. That would have been so much better than just having it on this single joint where you don't get any pivot. But, you know, for the most part, it is pretty neat. It is cool. It is you know cartoon accurate so it's neat but yeah it's a little disappointing because it kind of looks like his upper torso is on his uh, lower torso kind of at an angle and that might that might that might just be mine it might not be across the board but uh let's get some measurements here looks like gizmo duck from the bottom of his wheel to the top of his head is and i'm talking about the top of his helmet uh like four and a half inches tall and let's get some comparisons out here here's um, Chip and Dale from the first wave here's uh, Scrooge McDuck from the first wave and Darkwing Duck from the first wave so you can see they're all gonna look pretty good up on the shelf together even though the scale of this entire line was a little bit on the wonky side uh, if you were curious, here's a Goofy from the Kingdom Hearts line. And here's just a uh, Marvel Legends figure, Black Panther. So it just gives you a little bit of size comparison as far as this gizmo duck. But yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day it's cool, especially if you were collecting this line. Um, this is probably the only one in this particular line that I'm going to pick up. I'm not too worried about the other characters that they have, unless they're just like at a really, really deep discounted price. And yeah, maybe I'll pick them up just to, you know, kind of have the complete collection because I am a huge fan of this Disney um, afternoon cartoon line because, of course, I grew up on these cartoons. But yeah, this is Gizmo Duck. He's looking awesome. He's looking pretty cool. I am glad that they have the, you know, actual moving wheel. I wish the articulation was a little bit better. I really wish they would have just added some uh, uh, pivot there in the torso. They could have done so much more with it. But for what it is, and you know, for around, you know, nine bucks, I think it's totally worth it. And I think, you know, um, the uh, people who are fans of, you know, Gizmo Duck are going to like this. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the figure. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next figure review.